as did Britain, where my baby granddaughter is. Is this seat taken? Knock yourself out. Thank you. A friend? Yes. A very pretty young lady, if I may say so. She was. Ah, uh, was. Yes. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sterling. How do you know my name? A beautiful place, Prague, don't you think? I came here first out of the war, you know. Fell in love with it, and a handful of Czech women. I drank absinthe in the bars, walked the Charles Bridge. I was also romantic, deep down, somewhere, I suppose. How do you know my name? A wonderful place for rest and recuperation. Danny was right to send you here. Quite the spot. Convenient I was here as well, convenient. Yes. I had a vision, you know. A dream of a better world. A more secure world. Man. <laughs> we simply can't be trusted with anything, can we? Give us power unlimited, and we have to see what will happen, don't we? We have to break it to see if we can fix it. That's our way, our design. We never can, you know. It's never the same. Who are you? Who am I? Hmm. A wonderful question. <laughs> In how many different ways I could answer that? To you? I am Danny's employer, so to speak. At least the man who's been funding him for the past 13 years, paying for that lovely mansion in Hong Kong. I'm very tired. Who am I? Once head of an organization called Grey Wings, father of Octopus, a stupid old man who thought a pointed fable could become reality. In this envelope are details of a place, a job, a final mission, if you like, that appeals to my sense of cliché. You make a success of it, You'll never have to work again. You fail it, a few of us will be around to care. Open the package, read the information, listen, absorb, then decide. Why should I trust you? What in hell makes you think I can trust you, anyone? Kim, the girl, this woman, I saved her. Me, she's dead now. Why should I trust you? My dear boy, in no way, shape, or form should you ever trust me. It really is your choice. Who are you? I was John Gray. So, you are listening. Thank you. I am a man with many regrets, Mr. Sterling. This is my largest by far. By now, you know about Octopus, what it is designed to do. What you don't yet know is that there are over a dozen systems already in circulation, hawkishly watched over by Grey Wing's operatives, ready for connection. Farik was never supposed to get his hands on one. That was never in the design, but he is resourceful. He managed to steal one, bound for a far more reputable arms fair than his. The rest of that you know. The other units are still out there, though. They have shipped. We have had people tracking them down and have managed to destroy a handful, but not enough. Nowhere near enough. And so we are left with the one thing I'm not sure it's even possible to do. 
Penetrate the Andean fortress I designed to be impregnable and destroy Octopus at its source before Grey Wings has the opportunity to fully connect the system and kill us all. By now, they know I'm gone and will be looking for me. The operation has been moved forwards and there can't be long. Parrish has the details and will be guiding you. I wish you luck, Mr. Sterling. I really do. You'll certainly need it. I wish you luck, Mr. Sterling. I really do. You'll certainly need it. Danny, I'm at the infill point. Okay, Andy. Gray's intel indicates that there should only be light patrols in this area. Proceed with caution. Early contact would not be ideal. Remember. Your first target is the barracks that houses the men working at the early warning station. It should be about 300 meters from your current position. Out. Located the barracks. Good one. We're under this attack. Hold it there. Of railway at the back. This is your route to the early warning station. I've just seen. It. I'll make my way to the top. Of the
Boy, drop your weapon. 